So I admit the thumbnail may be a bit of an exaggeration, but really, it's not. I wanted to make a quick video sharing my experience with this heater over the past week for the crazy storm that we had here in Buffalo. This video is being recorded on December 27, 2022. If you haven't heard, Buffalo and the surrounding area got hit with a very, very bad blizzard on December 23rd that stretched all the way to, in some parts, even still going on right now. On the morning of December 23rd, I went to work and I left early trying to beat the storm. Earlier that morning, it was 39 degrees, very calm and rainy. And in a few hours, the temperature dropped from 39 degrees to the teens, which caused a flash freeze. Along with that came lake effect snow. If you're not familiar with Buffalo, we get pounded with lake effect snow. Normally it's south of the city. I'm a little bit north of the city, but this storm, the bands went north. Over the course of the next 48 hours, we received over 40 inches of snow and had sustained winds of 50 to 70 miles an hour with some gusts reaching even higher. It was crazy. The drive home from work was the scariest drive of my life. I'll put a quick video of that right Holy here. Holy shit. I've never seen anything like it living here all my life. I got home at one o'clock on Friday, very excited, the end of the week, and I was looking forward to coming out in the garage and working on my current project. I thought when I was a kid, I used to love when the power went out. Not this time, not with a storm like this, not when the temperatures were dropping to the single digits with wind chills 20 below zero. My neighbor had said he spoke to the power company who told him the power would be back on in a few hours. Well, the next morning, my house was 47 degrees and my room was 42 degrees. It was terrible. I had not really thought about it, but I didn't realize I didn't have heat or hot water let alone any electricity. So waking up after that, I decided to go out into the garage, grab this heater, which runs on natural gas. I brought it into the house and disconnected my dryer, connected this to where my dryer was and turned it on. And this is what I used to heat my house. My power was off for 69 hours with absolutely no heat. The temperatures outside were in the single digits to teens with wind chills down into the negative 20s and probably even negative 30s. This saved me. Maybe not saved my life, but in many cases, it could have saved people's lives. There were people that died in their homes, freezing to death because they had no heat, freezing to death in their cars. This storm was probably one of the most deadly storms that have hit this area since I've been alive. So I wanted to make this quick video just to tell you guys that not only can a heater like this be awesome for heating your workshop, your garage, it made this past storm tolerable. Yes, it sucked not to have electricity, heat, or hot water, but I was able to keep my kitchen and back hall around 65 degrees in the living room in the high 50s, which was very tolerable. I did turn it off when I was sleeping. Just to minimize any risk of injury or anything like that, I wanted to make sure the flame was off at night. The temperature did drop below, I'd say 52 at night, but I was able to heat it up very quickly when I woke up with this. If you saw my other videos where I explained how I installed these AC Infinity muffin fans on top here to help circulate the air, then you would know how great they work. But I didn't have any power. So what I did, being the creative person I am, is I went and got an electric duct fan from one of my RC jets, which is a small shroud with a fan in it. And I hooked it up on the shelf above this, and I'll show you a pic of that right now. And I used that to blow the hot air from the back hall into the kitchen, and then some other small five volt fans that I had that I could use to blow the air around the rest of the living room and dining room and other parts downstairs. If you have ever considered getting one of these fans, not only can it make a great addition to your workshop or garage, but it can also save you if you lose your power and your furnace runs on power. The one last thing I wanna point out is that when you bring something like this into the house, usually houses are insulated and sealed a little better than a garage or workshop, which may be drafty and have some source of fresh air. So you wanna make sure that this is not in a small room. You wanna make sure you have some type of fresh air coming into the room from the outside, just so you don't burn up all the oxygen. I was going in and out all day through the back door shoveling, making sure the house was all right. So I knew that there was air coming in and out. And I, again, I did turn it off at night. I know that a lot of people use these to heat their house and this is the only source of heat. But for me, I just wanted to be very careful with the open flame since I never had it in there before. And I wanted to just make sure it was off at night so I could sleep worry free, maybe a little cooler than I'd hope, but without the worry that there was going to be an issue from the flames or burning up all the oxygen. But I will say I have been running this in a smaller garage and I've never had any issues with carbon monoxide or a oxygen depletion sensor shutting the flame off. If you have any questions about how I like using one of these heaters, let me know in the comments. I will put links to the Mr. Heater Amazon store. They are affiliate links, so I do appreciate the support. And if you have any other questions about these types of heaters in general, maybe I'll be able to answer them for you. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.